into your life. And you are the one to do it. You <laughs> are the you. one to do it. I thank mean, you. when you consider that Alan literally has his hand on the pulse of what is amazing for our gardens, and he's been all over the world. He's a television host. He's been on, you know, major morning shows. You've probably seen him and his flowers featured um, on television, and it's so great that now you can have them in your own garden. And right here, you're looking at lilies of the field. Yep. You're getting 10 of these. Um, and these are brand new. These are spring price as well. And you also have uh, three flex payments on them. Okay, let's talk about the lilies. Okay, the what I, the reason I put this together, Tamara, mm -hmm. is because these are, you can cut these. They're perennials. They're mm -hmm. gonna come back every year in your garden and you can cut them. All right, so what I would love for people to do is to think about not just one collection, but buy two or three, and then group those together, and then have some that are blooming in the garden, but also be able to cut them and bring them inside because they are so fragrant. Oh, wow. The fragrance yeah. from these is really incredible. <laughs> and what I've done is I've got, what we have here are five different colors, okay? okay? And they bloom at slightly different times. You've got pictures of them here because mm -hmm. you can't get them all to bloom at the same time right. for, the, for the show. Okay. But this gives everybody a lineup of what these look like. This one is called African Queen, which I love because it's got that melon color mm -hmm. flavor. That's flavor. Right, right. <laughs> that melon color to it, which is so beautiful. And I love that kind of apricot color. But you've got a range of color here, and you've got a range of bloom time, mm -hmm. which is so important, okay? Okay. And then these will come back year after year. Wow. Okay? We have had some of these in our garden at the farm now for nine years, okay? Wow. They come back. They've been, can be come in for nine years. The yellow one that you see there at the bottom of the screen is called Yellowween. Yellowween grows six feet tall, Tamara. Oh my God. These goodness. are not wimpy lilies, okay? <laughs> These are strong. Look at that. Look at the beauty of those things. Wow. And people walk by, and there's Yellowween. Oh look look my at gosh. the height on that thing. And cutting those and bringing them in the house. I mean, and these oh. are so easy to grow. Now, what you want to do is you want to give them full sun okay. to partial shade. They can take a half a day sun, okay? This okay. is important. I want everybody to remember this. Mm -hmm. Half a day sun to full sun, okay? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure the soil drains really well. Lilies do not like wet feet. Okay. <laughs> lilies do not like wet feet, okay? All right. These are true garden lilies, and I've brought examples of the bulbs of each one of these okay. to show you. And you can see what's important in buying lilies is you want that fleshy, fresh root on there. Mm -hmm. It's not like buying a tulip bulb that has no roots on it, but feel how healthy that feels, yeah, okay? Yeah. And look at that bud. Mm -hmm. That will produce a stalk with those gorgeous blooms on it. That's what's so amazing about this collection. Every one of these will bloom this year. And here's mm -hmm. the deal. Yeah. They just get bigger and bigger every year. Just wow. this past weekend on, yeah. on Saturday, we took one clump that I had for five years. Tamara, it was already this big. I divided it in four <laughs> ways oh and took those and put them in other parts of the garden. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. that's that's how prolific they are. And that's why you say these are an investment in your garden. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah. let me ask Thanks you. for reminding me of that's that. Right. It's so true. And, and I look forward to them every year. I mean, they're like friends. They come oh. back year after year. And you know, when I lived in England, I, I would go through these gardens and I would smell the, the redolence, just the, the gorgeous aroma that would be wafting through these gardens. And I, what is that? And it was these oriental these lilies. Lilies. Uh, are, oh. Yeah, and the colors. And I know for so many people, lilies are their favorites. Uh, you know, could you imagine having your favorite, being able to go out to your garden mm -hmm. and cut your yeah. lilies and bring them into this your home? This is a classic cut flower. Oh, yeah. You're, you're so right, Tamara. This is a classic cut flower. And what we've done is we've tried to really have a range of color here mm -hmm. so it can work in different colors of your room. So yeah. maybe your theme is pink, maybe it's yellow. Right. Or you can have these and use them, you know, put them in your kitchen window. What I like to do is have them planted where you can see them from the house. Yeah. You can enjoy them inside, you can enjoy them outside. That's the beauty of this collection. And, and enjoy them out in the garden, and then when you want to, you can go out and cut some and maybe make them as part of your wedding bouquet or the bouquet of your granddaughter. 
you know. Um, I've seen so many, you know, I I pictures of weddings where the bouquet is just fresh cut lilies, yep. a little, a can beautiful ribbon, these? and that's it. Yeah, can you imagine those as a bouquet? Oh I mean, wouldn't gosh. that be gorgeous? And your own. These you know? are, all of these offers, whether it's the foxglove, whether it's the Stella Dioras, yeah. whether it's these lilies, these are great Mother's Day presents. They really are. And now is the time to get it again, because now is the time, it's spring, we're getting you ready to start to, to think about spring. And again, it doesn't matter what's going on and the weather on the outside of your window. Spring is here, and these are the things that we look forward to. We're going to show you the shipping dates on the um, zone map that you see right there. So we're not going to ship them to you until it, they're ready to be planted in your area. Absolutely. And you can get these snuggled in, and they begin to root. These roots take off very quickly. Mm -hmm. They emerge, and then they bloom. And the, what this is the key, fragrance. Yeah. I'm always looking for fragrance in my garden. Mm -hmm. And so many plants that have been developed over the years, Tamara, don't have fragrance, yeah. and these do. Why is that? Why well, we because they're trying to get a bigger bloom size. They're trying to get something that'll ship well so they can get it to a big box store. Uh. And it doesn't get too tall. Yeah. But I like a big, tall lily that's got a great fragrance yes. that's going to really fill the whole garden space with that wonderful aroma. Yeah. That's what we're missing, and that's what we need in our gardens. We that's need so more beauty in our lives. So interesting. I'm glad that you mentioned that, too, because for a lot, I, I never knew why you smell something, and it's like it's pretty, but I, I don't smell anything. Right? Yeah, right. So well, now we know. Because they're breeding more for height, because you can ship them easier. And these are, that's why I want people to grow them for bulbs and yes. have them there. These are legacy plants. These are the kinds right. of things you pass down Absolutely. to your to your your daughter your granddaughter right yeah and that's why there aren't a million of them available that's why there are not thousands of them available because these were grown properly to allow you to have actual real beauty not just it's, it's sort of like all of the senses yeah you know well, it does. the sight of it the yeah. smell of it the, t the touch yeah, of it yeah just the, the touch of it, it. these yes. petals are just so beautiful yeah. and so, we cut the stamens off and that's mm -hmm. one little tip that i do whenever i bring them in mm -hmm. because you don't want the pollen to get on your clothes mm -hmm. and so you just clip those little stamens off okay. and then you can use them as a cut flower in the house i'm gonna do that <laughs> okay and let me ask you again so when i plant these right I'm, am i just planting this part or the whole bowl you're going to bring the soil level up what i would do is i'd put a about three inches of soil over the top of that. Oh, so and this little guy is gonna come right up, it follows the sun. So I would plant this about this deep with about three inches from the top of the bulb, okay? okay? And then these roots will grow out like this and this plant will, will persist. Again, don't plant it where you've got soggy, wet soil. It needs to be soil that drains well and these things will come back okay. for decades. Wow. Oh, again, a legacy plant. You're, you are truly making an investment in your garden because you'll plant them. They will get bigger year after year. And then if you do want to spread them to other parts of your garden, that's your option. They're completely up to you, and you're getting all five of these amazing colors yeah. of the lilies. Well, and Yellowween, the one we saw pictures of from the from our, our farm, you know, it grows six feet plus. I mean, come on, six feet plus. <laughs> these things don't require any staking. They have oh. really big, strong, we've never had to stake them. Oh my gosh. I, I have to reach up to cut them. Yeah. <laughs> they get so big. <laughs> I mean, when you consider, because I mean, they're as tall as you are. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, wow. I to, I'm, I'm reaching up. Yeah. I'm, I'm reaching up for them to cut them. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay. Yeah. So you can have a wall, a hedge of lilies. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine all these beautiful colors? Okay, I know that we do have to move on because we've got more to share with you, but I do want to make sure that you go ahead and order. These are 603304. That's the number yeah. to get I, those lilies home, and you're getting 10 of them. I want people to have these in their gardens. I really do. I really do. All right.